What's going on, guys? Grab your dancing Groot doll because it's Guardians Week here at Screen Junkies. The Blu-ray dropped, the Honest Trailer came out, and we had the opportunity to sit down with Guardians director James Gunn. We asked you on Twitter, what should we ask James Gunn? Well, we got your awesome mix of questions and took them to the man himself. Check it out. So I'm here with Mr. James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy. We have a number of questions from our fans for you. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Well, I, I feel extra pressure because the fans mean a lot to me. So right. let's, uh, let's, let's get on with this then. What is your favorite Guardians of the Galaxy moment? And what did you enjoy most about writing it? My favorite Guardians of the Galaxy moment is the moment where Drax pets Rocket on the head at the end of the mo movie. That's the one moment that even after seeing the movie, obviously hundreds of times, mm -hmm. uh, it, still, it still gets me. Okay, I don't know if you can reveal this, James, but are there any songs from the Awesome Mix Volume 2 that you can tell us about? Well, I mean, you hear two of them in the movie. You hear, I mean, technically, Ain't No Mountain High Enough is definitely from Awesome Mix Volume 2, and probably I Want You Back is from Awesome Mix Volume 2. Okay. Now, if you think of those two move, songs, they are a little bit, there are some things that are different about them than the other songs, so you got to think a little bit about how that works in Awesome Mix Volume 2. What's your favorite line from Groot? Uh, I think it would have to be, we are Groot. We are Groot. That was beautiful. There were some really beautiful moments in there. Like when Groot released all those Firefly things. Oh, man, can you tell us anything about that scene in particular? You know, I really, I, I, I'll tell you the one thing that I thought of was there's the, uh, the, the scene um, in Edward Scissorhands where uh, Edward is shape, making the, the, the ice sculpture and the, the snow is falling around yes. and Winona Ryder is looking around and that beautiful score by Danny Elfman was playing. That was definitely a big inspiration for that scene to give that sort of magical moment. We've had all this sort of nightmarish stuff happening and even funny stuff happening but to give our heroes this magical moment to come together and enjoy something beautiful like that was what that moment was about for me. Our viewers want to know, and I, I want to know this too, will there be more Yondu in Guardians 2? Listen, I, Michael Rooker's my good friend, and yeah. where would I be without Michael Rooker by my side on a film project? I haven't made a movie yet without him, so mm -hmm. who knows? There's a good chance we'll see a little, at least a little bit more Yondu. Yeah, and... And Craglin, my brother. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we like... Uh, Your brother look, was fantastic. I love those Ravagers, so, uh -huh. you know, um, they're, they're one of my favorite parts of the movie. So. And they still got a score to settle with Quill, right? Well, they're, they're, mad, they're, they're mad at him, but as you see at the end of the movie, Yondu's a... He's an old softy. He's mm -hmm. he's proud of that little whippersnapper for giving him that troll doll, and he does like dolls, so maybe that means more to him than an Infinity Stone. So it looks like the next Avengers film is going to have a darker tone. Is that going to carry over and affect the tone of the next Guardians film? You know, honestly, it's 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 trying to make it affect it as little as possible. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> we really are separate from the Avengers, yes. and I don't think people should assume too many things about the Guardians' play in all of this because we have our own galaxy to take care of. We have our own galaxy to save, and Earth is the Avengers' province. And thinking that everything is going to come together in a perfect way uh, is not necessarily the way it's going to happen. There were two Marvel movies this year, both great movies. Uh, you did make more money than the Russo brothers with Captain America Winter Soldier. The Russo but brothers, great guys and made a great film. Does that mean they have to wash your car now or something? They, that's part of it. I think that's part of their renegotiations is that they have to do some of my basic, you know, not, not wash my car, but like buy my groceries and stuff like that. You right. Know? But they do a good job, man. The oh, Russo brothers, was... they pick out the best almond butter for me at Whole Foods. <laughs> They are, uh, they're really good. Now, nice. listen, I mean, there couldn't be two guys that I like more um, and who I feel like are, 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 you know, are partners with me here at Marvel. We're yeah. really very, very similar guys. I think they're great filmmakers, you know, and they took a, a, a you know, a character that has never been my favorite Marvel character, mm -hmm. Captain America, and made maybe my favorite uh, Marvel movie outside of Iron Man. So we just did the honest trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy, James, and I'm not sure if you're familiar. Oh yes, I oh. am. I love those things. Yeah, those things are great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love those things. Is there anything that bothers you about the movie? Because we frankly had a hard time finding things. You did too good a job. Well, I will say we had to cut down on our villain plots quite a bit, so it's pretty uh -huh. simple, you know. It's the way people are in movies. They like, you know, they like watching, they really like watching our heroes. So, yes. uh, you know, I wish there was a little bit more, a uh, little bit more Ronin in there. Uh, a little bit more Thanos, perhaps, but mm -hmm. uh, there isn't, so, you know, 
giving you guys, I'm just letting you guys in, let, let you into some of our vulnerable spots, our gotcha. Achilles heel. It's very hard to find one in this yeah, movie. Well, I appreciate that, boy. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it. For yeah. Guardians 2, we might just have to kiss your ass the whole time. Yeah, how awesome we are the whole time. And Maybe. how wonderful Groot is. I mean, yeah. you know. And how wonderful you are. Thank you, man. I it's appreciate fantastic. it. It's yeah. fantastic. Well, that was a blast. I want to thank James Gunn for sitting down with us. So if you could sit down with any director, living or dead, who would it be? What would you ask them? Leave us an answer in the comments section below. And the best answer, we're going to send you a Screen Junkies t-shirt. Now, since we're on this Guardians kick, I want to encourage you to check out Aw Me's brand new show, Super Fan Builds, where they built this awesome Groot swing for one lucky fan. Whoa, I wish I had that in my backyard. Also, I wish I had a backyard. I live in an apartment. Well, I want to thank you for watching Screen Junkies. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye-bye. So Suicide Squad. Uh, they're villains who are hired by the government to go on secret missions. It's the wild bunch with supervillains forced to go on black ops missions. Not like, you know, superhero, superheroes all tend to have coffee clutches together, but these supervillains, they don't hang out and talk about the heroes. They don't they're go all, for shawarma yeah, after no shawarma. the uh, mission is they're over. All out, they're yeah. all out for themselves. And they're all trying to figure out, how do I escape?